Well, good day YouTube viewers. Today we have a 2007 Honda Accord and it's here for a power window problem. Let's turn the key on. And you can see driver's side window works. Auto up. Auto down. But none of the other windows work. Now when I operate this switch, if you listen, you can hear what sounds like a relay clicking for all four, all the three windows that don't work. Now it's not the cancel switch, because it is up. If I press that down, then I don't get the sound from that other side. And it doesn't work from its switch. So three windows don't work from any switch. Let's have a look at the back here. Hmm. So let's have a look at the electrical diagram and see how this thing is designed. So I'm looking at the power window diagram and identifix here. And it shows a fuse 27, which feeds the master switch. And that appears to feed, well, definitely the driver's side. And there's some electronics inside that master switch. Let's see if there's a separate power supply for the passenger side. I'm going to study this diagram for a minute. So here is the master switch right here. And this fuse has to be good because it powers up the master switch and it operates the driver's power window just fine. Now I can hear relays clicking and the, the multifunction multiplex control unit in this master switch controls the other power windows through relays. So let's go to the next page here and you can see that the master switch supplies power and ground to the two relays. Those are the relays we can hear clicking, I'm sure. So they need power. And that comes from C for that switch, which according to this is fuse 26 for the right front window. And then the two rear windows come from B and A. I can hear a relay click in there, but I don't hear that. I don't think that relay is used when you use this individual switch. I can't see how all of these could fail simultaneously. That's my understanding. They all stop working at the same time because there are three different fuses, actually four fuses, but we know this fuse has to be good. Well, I guess we might as well check these fuses. This hyperlink on the factory diagram didn't work. I had to go to all data to get these other two diagrams. Hmm. I guess we could pick one of these switches if it come off easy enough and check for power on pin 6 here. That should be live. I wonder if that's coming. Oh, that's coming from a power window relay. Ah, now the plot thickens. So if this power window relay, we can pull this down a bit here. If this power window relay is common to all three of the, these that don't work. If that relay doesn't close, we'll have no power to the three windows and they won't work. I wonder what turns that relay. It looks like the multiplex control unit turns that on. Probably that cancel switch. The override switch. Now we could have a broken wire this wire here that controls that relay. Let's find this power window relay. So that under dash fuse box really behind the left kick panel 
contains that power window relay. Now this doesn't say which one is the power window relay. It was in this diagram here and it said view 271. Let's try that. Well, that's useless. Is it numbered at least? No, it's not. Well, I'll search for the relay. So there's a picture of the power window relay. Second one over. Let's have a look at that. So pry up the sill plate and you, you can lift it up enough to get this kick panel out from behind there. It's a pain in the ass. This one's actually broken already. Plastic's busted here. But there's a push pin down here and one at the top corner and it just pops out. It's a bit of a challenge. So the relay would be this one right here. Now I suspect that relay should click on and off with this switch here. But I don't hear it. So I'm going to take that relay out and have a look at it. So that comes, that relay feeds fuse 24, 25, 26, which in this fuse center are up at the top here. So let's check down here and see if we got power here. So this fuse should be live and it's not. Let's make sure the test light works. So that one's dead. That one's dead, that one's dead, and that one's alive. So we're going to take this relay out now and see if there's power on the control pins. See if I can get this relay out here with these pliers. So the two larger pins here, one of those should be live. Let's see here. Let's make sure the test light still works. I need to get a probe. So I put a relay jumper in there. And as you can see, with that relay bypassed, those fuses are live and the windows work. So now we got to check the control side of that relay. So I put a test light across the control side of the relay and the test light doesn't light when I click the switch on and off. But I do have power to the bottom pin here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the bottom pin has power. So the control side of that is grounded by this circuit here to the multifunction switch. So it's either the multifunction switch has failed or there's a broken wire in here. I think we're gonna look for a broken wire first. So taking that boot apart in here isn't easy, so I opted to pop the switch out instead and test the wire to pin three here. It's a white orange, white green wire White green wire to pin three. You would think it would be one of the third pins in, but we'll have a look. So pin three, this white green wire coming in here. If I ground that wire with my test light, my test light lights dim and that lights dim. So that tells me this master switch has failed. So the lockout switch has failed. This switch right here. So I wonder what would happen. And that's hot all the time, so we can't just bypass that relay. Because if we bypass that relay, the power windows will be live, would theoretically work all the time because that relay is a hot at all time source. I don't imagine this switch is cheap. 
Hmm, let me look at this circuit and see if I can figure something out. So this is a special edition and the switch retails for 560 Canadian dollars. Wow, isn't that special? I think we're gonna see if we can figure out a workaround. I tried to take the switch apart, but it's got a little circuit board inside. I'll do a little searching to see if there's anybody that's been successful at repairing these. You can't simply ground that wire because that would turn the relay on all the time. It would make the power windows on the three doors live all the time. And it would also kill the battery, create a parasitic draw. Hmm, let's think about this. So here's what I've done. Pin 20 to the multifunction switch comes from a 7.5 amp fuse that is ignition power. I'm going to use that to turn on a relay. The relay is grounded to pin 1 on the master switch as well. And jumper pin 1 to pin 87. And ground or pin 30 goes to the pin 3 of the master switch. So here it is set up. So I just teed into three wires here with a little relay. So now when you turn the key on, that relay turns on and supplies the ground to that switch. You can see my test light underneath the dash. That is on the control side of the relay. Powers on with the key. So now if I put the relay in there, the window should work. So now with the relay installed, the windows work because there's a ground to the power window relay and the power window relay supplies power to those three fuses. And of course when the key is turned off, the relay turns off. And we'll just tuck that relay down in the, in the door panel here. Put some sponge around it so it doesn't rattle. I'll draw a picture of this a little clearer and attach it to the end of this video. So here's another picture of that circuit. This is the connector at the master switch. So connect pin 85 of the relay to the wire going into pin 20, which is yellow. That's key switched from that 7.5 amp fuse. Pin 86 goes to 30 and also goes to pin 1, which is the ground, and that's a black wire. And then pin 87 goes to pin 3, which is white and red. And what this does is when you turn the key on, the power from pin 20 turns on the relay, which connects 30 to 87 and grounds pin 3 here. The downside to this, you won't be able to stop the kids from playing with the power windows. But saves replacing a $500 switch.